Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So today's video is going to be my favorite self tanners. This video has been requested since before summer even started. So I'm so sorry I have been so late on this video, but a lot of people have been curious about what I use to self tan. So I'm gonna walk you through my three favorite self tanners today. I am also giving myself a challenge today. So we will see how this goes. I am challenging myself to the one take challenge I think is what I'll call it. I have no idea if this is out there or if this is even a thing but this is totally inspired by my friend Olivia from Live Loves Her Makeup. She does all of her videos in one take which I'm like, how? How do you do that? But I've been so inspired by her and we have such a fun friendship that I was like, you know what, Liv? I'm gonna take on your challenge. And even though she doesn't challenge herself in her videos, that's just how she does it. That's just how she is. I'm like, you know what? This is a challenge for me because it takes me a very long time to record my videos. It's also gonna be a challenge because my Sony A5100 overheats at 13 minutes so I don't know if we can fit this all in in 13 minutes to get a true one take but I'm gonna try it means there's gonna be no editing I'm not gonna be cutting myself out at all the only thing that I'll be doing is putting in my intro and outro screens like I do in most of my videos but that's it for my editing I'm not clipping myself I'm not doing any of that so we will see how this goes I'll have Liv's uh, channel linked it down below if you want to check her out I definitely say you do because she's awesome but I'm going to be talking about my favorite self tanners today before we get started I want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video I do upload every single day so if you enjoy daily content on makeup and beauty make sure to hit the subscribe button but to jump right into it I'm used to cutting myself right there you see what I did there but we're gonna jump right into it um, the first one that I want to talk about is from million dollar tan I will have all of these listed down below. Million Dollar Tan you can also get at Ulta. What I use from them is their, Mo their Mermaid Mousse Extreme. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is actually my second bottle of this stuff and this is their Dark Sunless Tanning Mousse. They do have the Mermaid Mousse and then they have the Mermaid Mousse Extreme. I have tried a couple different products from the Million Dollar Tan but the Mermaid Mousse Extreme is just my absolute favorite. I do also have a mitt from them. This is what their mitt looks like. It's just the standard black mitt. I don't think this is my favorite tanning mitt that I have ever used, but it is a still but it still is a pretty good one. And um and I think I always pair it with this guy as well. So this is $32. Again, I will have it linked down below. It's for four ounces. It's more of the moussey texture when you spray it out and it's one that you get very instant results from and it is pretty extreme. I haven't tried their mermaid mousse like the regular one. I've always gone to the extreme because like if I'm going to self tan, like I want to self tan. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to just be like, "Oh, I look a little bit tanner." I like to really do the extreme and it says extreme, but it's not anything too overwhelming. It's not orange at all. I don't find this to be streaky. I have tried self tanners that have Oh my gosh, been so streaky and I don't find it with this one. You do have to leave it on for quite some time. I think it's either like the, yeah, six to eight hours. You do have to leave it on before you can shower. Um, so that's the only part that I don't love so much because I feel like I'm just like kind of marinating. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just sitting around marinating and then you start to get like the self tan smell. But after six to eight hours, I do wash it off and then you notice an instant darker tan, which I really do like. So this has been one of my favorites. Like I said, I've gone through one bottle already. And then this is my second bottle of the Mermaid Mousse Extreme. And then moving on, you see what I did there? I'm used to cutting myself off, so this is strange. The other hard part about doing this is that I don't have a table in front of me. My desk is over here, so I have to put everything on my desk, so it's kind of hard because I have to like reach out of frame. So when I do lives and I do like, like I could do a lot of PR hauls live, I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like I'm having to reach out of frame and it's super annoying. But another one of my absolute favorite self primers is from Versaspa. I believe that you can only get Versaspa on their website, so I'll have that link down below. I thought it was super interesting because I actually used to do a lot of self tanning, like going to a tanning salon and using their self tanner, like their booth where you stand in and it sprays you. And it was always called the Versa Spa. So now they have items that you can actually buy to tan at home. I always use the intensifying primer before I do self tan. It just helps to intensify and accelerate your tan. And then the items that I use are the Gradual Tanning Spa Butter. And I think I only have like one guy left of this, like one use left. 
which makes me really sad because I love it. And I also have their Gradual Tanning Face Moisturizer. This, I'm pretty sure, has made it into my favorites videos because I love both of these. Now, like the name says, these are Gradual Tanners. It's not going to be like the million dollar tan where you use it and you immediately see results. You have to use this, I would say, at least for a week, like every single day, and then you will see the tan and then you can kind of space it out like every other day, every two days, depending on what type of tan that you want. But it does take a few days to intensify your tan and to show the color but if you are someone who likes a more gradual tan or a lighter tan this could be a good option for you and again I just really really love these guys um, I can pull up the website here and tell you the gradual face moisturizer is 35 and then the tanning uh, butter is $40 and you get six fluid ounces in there. So I will have that site listed down below. And then this is the mitt that I got from their site as well. It's a lot different from like the million dollar tan or really any other tanner mitt that I've used because it's very soft. Whereas the other ones are more almost like a rubbery feeling. This one is very, very soft. Um, but again, I've been using this, pro I think this is what I've been using the longest, I would say, for self tanners, and I, I love them. Um, if you want just a face option, this is like really good for your face. I use this one a lot as well, just as like my regular moisturizer if I need a bit of a boost. So I do love the Versa Spa. And then the last one that I wanna talk about is actually the newest one to me, but man, <laughs> do I love this guy. This is from Vita Liberata, oh man. Well, I do feel like I have to talk fast. I know everybody says Liv always talks fast, but like, I get it, man. You're like against the clock. You gotta talk fast. So this is from Vita Liberata. You can get this, I believe, at Ulta. And for sure, I know that you can get it at Sephora and the Vita Liberata website. So I'll have all that linked down below. This is their 10 minute tan. I was super impressed with this because like I said, with the million dollar tan and not wanting to wait, this is 10 minutes. I mean, you just put it on and then you wait 10 minutes, which by the time you finish putting it on, you even have less than 10 minutes, and then you rinse it off and boom, you have a tan. Like this is perfect for people who don't have a lot of patience, like me. So this is their 10 minute tan. Um, I've used it, man, maybe like three, I wanna say three different times I've used it. So I've used it um, a decent amount of times to be able to understand how it works. And I think it is really, really good. I don't think the tan is as extreme as the million dollar tan i think i get darker with that tanner but it's still a really nice beautiful tan that you will get and again only 10 minutes if you're like going out the door you need something real quick the 10 minute tan is a really great option but what i just love from vita liberata i think have i put this in a favorites video i might have put this in a favorites video this is their body blur this is like a holy grail to me this is what the body blur looks like and it is freaking amazing. I believe the self tanner is $39 and I believe this guy is $45. I'll have the links down below. I use mine in medium. It says it's an instant HD skin finish, 24 hour wear. What this guy does is literally blurs out your body. I love this. I love this. I don't know where this has been all my life. So I deal with cellulite on the back of my legs. I have no issue saying that because it's just what it is. But I'm always very self-conscious about it. I don't love being in swimsuits because I'm very self-conscious about the back of my legs. This seriously blurs it out and covers the cellulite, covers any imperfections. I'm also someone who bruises very easily and I have a 60 pound lap dog who scratches me a lot and I get bruises very easily from her nails. This covers the bruises, it covers cellulite, it blurs out your body. I use it on my legs the most. I very rarely feel like I need to use it on my arms but I know I've read that some people like to put it on their stomach but this is what I use on my legs. If I'm going out boating or just out in a swimsuit or even in shorts or a dress, I am putting this on because it just gives me so much more confidence. It really just does fantastic things to my legs. And it also, I use the shade medium, so it gives me a bit of a tan too. It has a little bit of glimmer in it. I can't tell you how much I love this guy. I will most definitely be purchasing more. I've just been so, so happy. I know $45 is kind of a lot, but for that extra boost of confidence that it gives me, it is so so worth it to me so the vita liberata the vita liberata body blur instant hd skin finish is just one of my absolute favorites it's not so i mean 
it is a self tanner because especially because like I said I do the medium it does help give more of a tan but I had to include it in here because I did want to talk about the 10 minute tan but I felt like I had to include it in here too because it can give you a boost of color but really I just feel like I I, I just feel like I had to mention it like as often as I can. If anybody deals with cellulite like I do, like give the body blur a try. This is what their mitt looks like. I My regular one is upstairs where I do most of my self tanning. So this is what their mitt looks like. And I like it. I think this is probably my favorite tanning mitt that I've tried. That's more of like the regular tanning mitt versus like what the Versa Spa has. But yeah. Did I do it? Are those all my favorite self tanners? I thought if I was gonna do a one take challenge, I was like, I might as well only have to talk about three different products because if I'm gonna have felt like a long winded conversation, it's just not gonna work. But those are my favorite self tanners. Those are what I have continually used, what I would fully be able to recommend and what I just wanna reach for when I do want a bit of a tan. So I hope that you guys found that helpful. Again, everything will be linked down below. I'm so sorry this video was a bit late. I know it's been requested for a while, so I hope that you enjoyed seeing some of my favorite self-tanners. Liv, thank you so much for the idea of challenging me to go out of my comfort zone and do a one-take video. I have never filmed a video this fast, so that is super exciting. Be sure to check out our channel. I'll have it linked down below, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video or you found it helpful, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you will also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll catch you guys real soon in my next one. Bye! I can't believe I did it.